Hello. Um, today I'd like to share the uh, one of the project um, that I'm doing is a um, ladder host um, that uh, helped me to lift the shingle on top of the roof. Um, I bought the uh, storage shed in the back and uh, it's about eight feet. So I bought the um, ladder, 24 foot ladder. And uh, let me show you um, how it works. Then uh, we can go through um, how these things uh, work. Okay. All right. So you can put the shingle on top, this one right here, and with the motor, uh, you can lift it up, okay, up, and then I lift it down, move this one, it makes it more stable. That's very much, you know, the help me to lift the uh, the heavy uh, material on top of the roof uh, with the remote control. This is I have um, 800 pounds. Um, motor all right so let me uh, explain to you what I did um, I have um, I bought the um, 24 foot ladder that have uh, two sections so you can see the the other left the section left over right here um, right now it's only 12 feet, 12 foot, which is um, good enough for me. Um, good enough for me for for the um, lip uh, with the very low, um, you know, the ceiling. You know, very uh, less than eight feet long. So this is a uh, long enough. So. Um, you can see right here, um, I cut um, a ladder two step. You can use two step, and uh, I use another two step on top right here, right? And um, join with uh, that one. Um, you can cut this one roughly about um, 25 degree. Um, you let you let it stand like this, and then you can make sure you make sure that this is a level with the floor, and then you can cut to the side, right? So this is um this is how the you want to cut with an angle like this. So I'm not quite sure this angle is 45 degree, uh, but and then this angle probably another 45 degree, and you join together with the um, piece of. Uh, Aluminum that from the ladder also uh, with four screw, right? And to support this, I also cut a piece of metal um, right there, right? To support this, make it stronger. Everything is aluminum, but the metal is more stronger than the aluminum. And uh, to connect that one, I use the this bolt right here so i bought the whole box of the nuts i think this is good enough. i bought this box right and uh, i can do all the screw inside this is like less than i think probably ten dollars from our harbor freight and you also need the uh, bearing, right, component. 
This one you can get it from the Amazon. Uh, cost me around $250 uh, for, for $10. Um, and also you need um, a 2x2, two two, right? But um, I have um, these angle metal, so I join them together, I wear them. Um, but uh, then you need the uh, U-bracket. I bought this one from um, uh, Home Depot. And uh, when you buy the hose or lifter, the brackets came with it. These two brackets right here came with it. And all right, so let me move a little bit far away. You can see that. Then I also bought the uh, this right here. I bought two of them, one on the top. Right. And one on the bottom. That's what I show you. So if there's you can see right here, I didn't cut it very good, right? You can see that. Um, right. So you need two steps for the base and two steps for the for the uh, the uh, slide to piece that slide up and down, right? The motor I pay um, $130 from Amazon, uh, 800 pounds. Um, you need at least um, 25 foot wrap long because you're wrapping around. You see that? Very cool, right? So you can uh, reference. Um, so I label a little bit right here. A and A and B and B when I cut it. And uh, so that you know exactly when you cut and you put together. Um, same thing when you remove the, this piece right here. Um, Make sure that you know this thing on top. Make an arrow right here. This portion on top, um, and this, this base with the uh, footer at the bottom. Um, so, so you can see that. Uh, let me go a little bit. So that's a. Uh, That's the connector on the top, right? And uh, what else? Um, uh, when you stand it up, right? You label this one. Um, level with the floor so that uh, it's easy to put the thing in um, right so make sure you cut this one 45 degree angle and then you want to put on top like this right. and when you drill a hole for this one right here right make sure you lift it up a little bit you know give, give it some room Right, use some room so I can move back and forth. Otherwise, it's very difficult because sometimes the ladder um, uneven, and you need uh, the uh, space so that uh, it can move back and forth. 
so you see that sometimes I label so make sure you label when you take out the the track on top make sure you label which direction going to which and you can see recognize right here there's a label right here so you can see that you can read the label I mean this is the correct way of setting it up and uh, and that's how I show you that all right let me let me show you the uh, the bottom piece one second All right, so I found the uh, bearing, um, bought this one from uh, Amazon, um, half inch flank bearing, and uh, you can Google this one, I bought this one from Amazon for, for $10, right? Um, and So, so get a box of the, um, this nuts, but you probably need a um, lot of this. Put this one down. You need this. Um, not quite sure. Um, probably. Five eight. He needs about um, twenty of them. Okay, you need this. So I bought this box. It has about twenty of them. Okay, so. All right. So I try one more time.